Basically, when you join guitar, you can join and not know anything about a guitar at all. You like nothing. But if you so the main question is when you join guitar, can I use my guitar from home? In some cases, you can if you have a classical guitar. Do not bring it an acoustic and ask if we can just put the strings for a classical guitar on there because the answer will always be no. So just don't do that. You will have to invest in a guitar, which is that they some can be as cheap at a pawn shop for like fifty dollars or less. And another cheap one that's brand new, you can get a straight music, it's the Model C40, just so you know. Uh, <laughs> Yamaha C40. But you can go to straight music and get like a hundred dollar guitar, and I have that one, it's lasted me three years already. So, but the guitar what we do is we are associated with the Classical Guitar Society, and uh, we can have gigs, like we, we have gigs, and we go open up for people that have won Grammys in other countries, and you get these free tickets, and you get to invite your family, and those tickets can be up to hundreds of dollars. And so we also get to travel, and for the orchestra, we get to travel with orchestra, and you don't have to be in the top group to travel. You can be in the low group, pay your way, you don't even have to play your instrument, just go and have fun. So we get to open up for gigs, we get to travel. Last year we went to Port A, and the year before that we went to the Bahamas and played internationally on a cruise ship. Also with the gigs is classical guitar. Our ensemble got second in the world last year. Second. That's a big deal. Our ensemble's freaking awesome. Woohoo! And with the orchestra, by the way, um, you when you join, you get in the Philharmonic, and then you can audition to be in the symphony, and that's really fun. So do that. Uh, so Michael. Uh, I pretty much did a little bit of everything out of Alha. I went to theater. I guess I'm that one. I didn't do the string stuff. It sounds hard. But uh, I was a humanities major, and with that, it's like. It's learning about cultures and then learning about film. You take a film studies class, which is really fun. Um, beyond that, uh, it's a really good class just for, uh, just, you know, you get to watch movies, it's a good time. Um, other than that, I took debate with that one. Uh, debate's a pretty good time. It's, uh, it's a really good team. They go to UIL and all that stuff. I didn't really go, but you did. Uh, what other majors do we have that I covered? I didn't cover anything else. Um, digital me oh, digital media, yes. That man. Uh, digital media, if you're into video games, designing video games, just online art or anything like that, you can take your digital media. Um, with there, you can take animation courses and stuff, and he will get you set all the way to, you know, whatever you need to do onto college, uh, as far as that goes. But I'm, here, I'm sure we, need, we have time, so Christian, come up here and talk about the and stuff. I'm Christian. Um, I'm a senior this year, and I've done choir and journalism. Now, choir is going to be pretty cool for all you seniors out there, senior singers out there. You know, do a lot of stuff, you go out and do competitions, things like that. Journalism is more about if you're kind of into, like, you getting up in faces, you know, getting questions, answering this. Hey, can you tell me more about that? Getting just kind of like newspaper kind of, being a reporter, basically. Going out meeting new people, your proper stories, stuff like that. So if you're really interested in that journalism, teacher, journalism teacher is going to be uh, Mr. Dorr, David Dorr. He's a pretty cool teacher. You guys meet him, for really the cool guy. Yeah, so, that's it. Oh, and choir is uh, directed by Dr. Paul, he was amazing. Yeah. So, yeah? Uh, were you able to tell us a little bit about the art? So, for art, um, basically, you start out in Art 1, which a lot of freshmen end up taking. It's uh, a good way to get your fine arts requirement done. We do a little bit of everything in Art 1 uh, drawing, painting, uh, ceramics, working with clay, printmaking, trying to get a little bit of everything. Uh, once you're done with that basic class, then you can take any of our four advanced classes. We offer an entire class dedicated to drawing uh, or painting. I'm teaching ceramics this year, so it's an entire class just clay. Um, and then printmaking as well. Uh, when you get through those second level classes, you can take third and fourth level classes. Or you can move on to AP Studio. And those classes are basically preparing you to put together a portfolio uh, to put towards college credit. Um, so you can actually earn college credit uh, and just get a leg in if you're wanting to go to art school or go to Florida University and you want to pursue art there as well. Um, we also do on and off offer art history, um, something offered this year, but it's something that we're looking to do maybe every other year. And that can be a fun weapon as well. Um, so if you have any questions about art, if you're not in it right now, or if you are, then you, uh, you have three art teachers here, so if you don't have me, um, you can always still come to me and ask me questions about the other advanced art classes.